hello everyone again and uh, welcome to our channel so today I have a smart for two curb uh, 2008 and uh, with the 451 uh, 30 chassis so <coughs> Uh, the car has a symptom that when you uh, move the gear selector or uh, shift, gear shift lever to reverse gear and the ensign is flashing and the clutch is not closing or the vehicle is not moving. So even if I rev the vehicle, so the vehicle is in reverse gear. When I rev the vehicle, when I rev the in, in, when I rev the engine, the vehicle is not moving at all. And this is the uh, treble cord that we have. So sometimes you might, you may or may not have this fault cord, uh, but. Uh, uh, when you see this type of problem with this smart port 2, it's going to be uh, the brake switch or the brake lights bulb not operating. So in 90% cases, this is going to be the brake light switch. As you can see, I'm going to show you. So the vehicle is in... Uh, they were scared and uh, I'm going to move that back to N okay I'm going to show you that uh, except reverse the car is engaging in every gear so I'm going to move a little bit the vehicle as you can see the vehicle is moving as you can see the vehicle is moving but in, in reverse the vehicle is not moving as you can see the end sign is flashing on the dashboard uh, while the gear shift lever is in or position or in reverse position so I'm going to show you there as well if you see <coughs> So the vehicle, the, the gear is now in reverse gear, as you can. And uh, uh, I'm going to show you that uh, uh, none of the brake lights, right or left, and also the upper middle one is operating. So this is going to be the brake light switch problem. Okay, as you can see. The brake pedal is fully pressed down. And the brake lights are off. So I'm going to uh, replace the brake light switch and uh, see if we can uh, fix this problem <coughs> okay this is the brake light switch so let me open this let's see This is the brake light switch. I'm going to replace that. Okay, the brake switch is located behind this cover. So to get access to this cover, to this uh cover and remove this cover first you need to remove this cover 
darkness which is which covers this area and secondly you need to remove this cover thirdly you need to remove this piece and uh, there are two screws one is there and the other is here so you need to remove this too as well okay remove this cover too there is a window left this window so <coughs> that's this window is behind here and you can open that window and remove this cover too this cover then you need to remove this but uh, make sure uh, you need to uh, use uh, a strong scraper to separate this plastic cover from here because this is very very fragile as you can see it's already broken this one so this is something like if you just push the scraper scraper like this so I'm going to use this scraper as you can see and separate this That has to be here. Okay. I have split it this plastic cover, but unfortunately I have broken this. But anyway, I'm going to renew this cover too because And as you can see This is The Switch So I'm going to check Power supply to the switch Because I think that was replaced by me too <sighs> long time ago okay I'm going to check the power to the switch So as you can see, power is coming to the switch. Okay, I have it. 
This one has power. So I'm going to do Okay, I have replaced the brick pedal. See which now I'm going to start the vehicle. I have started the vehicle and now I'm going to put that in reverse gear. As you can see, the engine has the, the gearbox straight away has gone to reverse gear. Now, because the clutch is open until you haven't put uh, your foot on the accelerator pedal, so so the uh, clutch will remain will remain open. So I'm going to rev the engine a little bit. So mm. okay, as you can see, reverse light is on. Uh, both uh, tires or or wheels are not spinning. So I'm going to rev the engine a little bit with this device. As you can see, as you can see, now <coughs> okay, now I'm going to show you that the brake light should work as well. Uh, sorry, I have camera in my one hand and also on one hand I'm going to operate this de device to press the brake pedal. That should be enough. And as you can see, brake lights are working too. So that was a good quick fix. If you have no brake lights and uh, when you put the gear <coughs> a shift lever, to R and the gear is not re registering on the dashboard and uh, that's going to be the problem with the brake pedal uh, switch or brake light switch located uh, on the brake pedal you may have or may not have a fault code for this because at the beginning when I was scanning the vehicle I didn't have this uh, full code which I have shown you that one but uh, when I cleared all full codes and then put the gear uh, shift lever to reverse after that that full code was stored so I'm going to You may have or may not have this fault code, but uh, anyway, if uh, your brake lights not operating, and then when you put the <coughs> gear shift lever to R position or you move to reverse gear position, 
and the R is not registering on the dashboard here. On the dashboard here, it's going to be the brake light switch located on the brake pedal. As you can see, if now it's 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 uh, or uh, end there on the dashboard. So I'm going to move that or oh I actually I have to press the uh, brake pedal first then it will be registered so as you can see it registered so thanks for watching that was a quick fix <sighs> Now I'm going to put everything back uh, on, uh, which I have removed. Uh, then that's it. Uh, you can put cable tie around this plastic cover like so, and then it's going to be all right because this is too strong, and uh, the cover will be stuck itself on its own but this is just for the support purposes